welcome. That's Brian. This is the Guitar Solo Reactions. Today I'm back with Rush and I am doing this promotional video. I don't think it's live, but it's the song A Farewell to Kings from obviously the same titled record from 1977. Came out in early September of that year. Uh, I like this record quite a bit. I love Hemispheres even more, but I've been uh, listening to uh, Fly By Night and Caress of Steel more than I have in a long time while I was doing kind of some of these reaction videos and I, I've always listened to Caress of Steel the second side. I'm always like a second side rush person I guess and I am really enjoying Fly By Night like the whole record is really really great and um, I think uh, Caress of Steel I really really love except for uh, is it, I think I'm going bald. I mean, that's kind of like a throwaway tune for me, but I'm really, those two records fly by night, uh, is moving up in the ranks for me. Um, for me, uh, I would probably say, uh, permanent waves, then hemispheres, 2112, caress of steel, fly by night, um, I'm not really too super fond of the first one, but I digress. So let's check out this song and see what it's all about. I believe it was shot as some kind of promotional thing, and I cannot wait to see it because I don't think I've ever seen it before. So thanks for joining me. If you're a Rush fan, thanks for being here. Suggest others if you like, uh, criticize, whatever, comment, subscribe, like, all of that. Um, and let's check it out. Such a cool intro. It's like it's staged like a live thing with like kind of like a small audience waving their arms around or something like it's a live show. <laughs>
So there we have it, A Farewell to Kings. Obviously, that was uh, uh, in the studio kind of live. Obviously, that's the real recording, so they weren't really playing it live. They were just kind of, um, I don't know what you would say, but with all, all that said, it looked amazing. They look great. Great guitar solo by Alex. Alex is probably one of the most creative guitar players in rock history. Um, I would kind of put him in the same uh, category or vice versa as like a Steve Hackett, uh, who had just a million different ideas. Uh, early Genesis is a really complex band. I personally don't love Genesis um, with Peter Gabriel. I love Peter Gabriel, love the band, but for some reason it's not gelled with me ever. When I heard Rush for the first time, when I heard Caress of Steel, I loved it from day one. And that was, you know, um, I'm going to say 35 years ago, or no, 45 years ago almost. So um, I've always loved Rush instantly. Same with King Crimson. Yes, took me a while, but became a huge fan if we're talking about progressive rock. Love Magma. Uh, Love Prezant, love a lot of the French kind of avant-garde stuff. Um, and of course, loved UK and all the Bill Bruford stuff. Anyway, um, I think Alex is like, it's like a working man's guitar player, like kind of like a rock player, like a Jimmy Page, but with like a lot more uh, like esoteric like points of view as far as approaching the guitar, making it sound bigger. The solos are all his. He's just such a unique player. Um, the whole band is, obviously, but I'm here to talk about the guitar playing. And what's really interesting after watching this is seeing what comes next, which is Hemisphere, which this record laid the ground for that. And I love the tones on Hemispheres a lot. It's a lot heavier. It's a lot bigger. Um... Maybe not as subtle, but I think it is. I just, that record just has some of the coolest stuff on it. And then we go into Permanent Waves, and it has a few of the big hits like Free Will and Spirit of the Radio, which, you know, were on the radio nonstop. I loved them. But the rest of the record is amazing. And I've said this before. So, anyway, I love Rush. I love the whole band. Hey, thanks for joining me. I love Rush. If you do too, please come back. Thanks.